adhere to the constitution. Millions of Form 1 students set to report to schools next week amid confusion over where parents should buy uniforms. May the scales of justice continue to find balance and may the rule of law reign supreme. Exit on Amadi. Enter Paul Ndemo. Long serving Chief Registrar leaves judiciary after 10 years as stint, hands over to her deputy. Those are some of the top stories that we have for you tonight here on KT News Weekend Prime, including that interview that I told you earlier on that has been done. Uh, by our senior political affairs reporter, Daniel Karuki, he had a sit down with Eric Theory, the president of the Law Society of Kenya, when it comes to the demonstrations they held today in terms of uh, President William Bruto's uh, sentiments, actually statements concerning the judiciary. It is an interview that you do not want to miss at the top of the hour at exactly 10 p.m. Now, tonight, uh, Chief Justice Martha Kome has told of President William Bruto over his incessant accusations that the judiciary harbors corrupt judges and that it is shielding them on the pretext of judicial independence. The Chief Justice has termed Ruto's remarks as baseless and unfounded and at the head of state to lodge his complaints with the Judicial Service Commission, which she says is the only body that can probe and take action against judicial officers. And as Dalma Sakali reports, Kome's sentiments come at a time when President Ruto is facing intense criticism, both from within and without, over his utterances that, uh, that point to a corrupt judiciary. Ati watu wachache, wawili watatu, wameenda kotini, wakahongana kotini, mpango hiyo ikasimamishwa. Barabara ikasimamishwa, universal health coverage inasimamishwa, Mambo ya housing inasimamishwa. Lazima tuulizane, lazima tuwe na mjadala. It is a remark that has caused uproar from different quarters within and outside the country with unrelenting calls for the independence of the judiciary to be respected. And now, Chief Justice Martha Kome is fighting back, asking President William Ruto to table his evidence against judicial officers he is terming as corrupt. We are ready to process any complaints against any judge or judicial officer who is implicated in corruption or in any other acts of misconduct. However, such complaints must be launched and processed in the manner prescribed by the Constitution. Speaking during the handing over ceremony by the outgoing Chief Registrar Anne Ahmadi on Friday, Kome asserted that the Judicial Service Commission, JSC, which she leads, stands ready to process complaints against any judge or judicial officers implicated in corruption. Judges, judicial officers were hounded out of office through name-calling and naming and shaming. The Judicial Service Commission, which is the body mandated by the Constitution, to deal with the matters of complaints will only act on the basis of evidence and not on blanket statements or allegations that have not been substantiated. Kome dismissed Ruto's accusations against the judiciary of shielding corrupt judges to undermine government development projects, terming the remarks baseless and far from the truth. The President of the Supreme Court of Kenya used the occasion to urge judges and judicial officers to remain true to the Constitution, adding that the discharge of judicial duties shall be subject only to the Constitution and the law. I will continue to urge our honorable judges, judicial officers and judiciary staff to continue discharging their duties in accordance with their oaths of office and in accordance with the law. Her remarks come at a time when President Ruto and his Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade have intensified their onslaught on the judiciary, promising to kick out corrupt judicial officers from the corridors of justice, with the question on the lips of many remaining to be how he intends to do this. According to the Constitution, a judge or any judicial officer can only be removed on recommendation of Judicial Service Commission, JSC, 
after investigations through a tribunal. Hata kama wanaringa ati wako na pesa, ati wataenda kuhungana kotini, ati watanunua sijui mawakili, mimi nimewaambia wakili ya hawa watu ambao hawana pesa ni mimi. Sindio? Na kwa sababu mimi siwezi kuhongana kotini, pale kotini ufisadi mimi nitaenda nifieke nimalize kotini nimalize mambo ya ufisadi kotini there are grounds in which these officers can be removed from office including gross misconduct initiated by JSC or any other person who petitions the JSC Sakali Dalmas KTN News Meanwhile, lawyers across the country took to the streets Friday to protest against President William Ruto's persistent attacks against the judiciary. LSK President Eric Theory, who led the protests in Nairobi, called on President Ruto to stop the anti-judiciary utterances, terming them as serious interference.